Hello, I'm a Godox cute little baby Flash, so cute. I'm a Canon EXRT Flash. I blow you away. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, look, I know that that was a bit dramatic, but kind of sort of the truth. Um, the TT350 flash is really, really cool. It's awesome. The sticker on your camera, if you're casually taking flash images, this thing is great. I've used it on an entire wedding, and I just kept a couple of the uh, AA batteries in my pocket, and all was good in the world. However, power and recycle time is very important when you're working a job especially when it's a wedding or some kind of a corporate event where there's some action happening and you're just used to having EXRT flash power. I sound like either Cookie Monster or some really bad Marvel character with scars everywhere, flames, horns. The one cool thing about the Fuji X-T3 is that it also allows you to put your Canon flash on it and use it on manual mode. It's not TTL. And if you have ever worked with manual mode on flashes, you know you'll never go back to TTL ever again. Because TTL, meaning through the lens, um, through the lens metering, it's not always spot on. It's close. It's not always spot on. The TT350, I like it a lot. Its TTL is actually really, really good. Yeah, one time I had a bird behind me, now I got a dog across the fence. Let him in. The thing about the Canon flash is, this is the mag mod, the magnets. I put my diffuser right here. The thing about this flash on the camera, it, it is bigger, which is why I got this. I mean, look, look at the difference. Isn't that, isn't that crazy? But when I put this thing on there, I can just shoot. It, it, it's, it's always firing. It just is, especially when you're like me, photographing at a high ISO, and my flash power is only down to a 16th, if not a little lower. Um, that makes recycle time really, really good. However, that exact same setting on this flash, and it doesn't recycle as fast as this one does. So only if you want faster recycle time. Um, besides that, this little guy is really, really good. I'm shocked at how good it is. Even just straight down on TTL, it's really good, man. Um, but I work so many rooms with, you know, incandescent lighting and colors and all that stuff to where I'm always bouncing or I'm diffusing some other way rather than shooting forward. However, on my last little event, I'm sorry if I keep hitting this table, you guys. On my last event, I had a little 50th anniversary and this guy was awesome. I put him on and I could just work. You know, I can just work fast. I have the power. That's always good to have. You'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. If you're a working photographer, you know what I mean by that. The day you leave your second camera body at the house or your studio thinking you don't need it, that's when you'll need your extra body and you won't have it. <laughs> So look you guys, this is all recorded on the new iPhone 11. Um, not the Pro, not the Max, just a straight up 11. Um, the reason why I did not get the Pro is because I don't really care about the zoom camera and uh, this thing does just about everything I needed to do anyway. And the price was a little bit better. So let's see a few things, shall we? You wanna see some flare? Oh, look at that flare. Hold on, is that amazing? This thing really does do very good pictures. And we'll, we'll see about the video when I get this thing. Oh, there it is. There's the split. Ah, uh, quick, in the comments, those of you who know, why is that ray of light splitting 
like that. Huh? There's a reason. There's a scientific reason. There's a camera reason. Somebody explain how you get that ray of light. Huh? It's got something to do with one of... <laughs> one of those. <laughs> wow, we are seriously busy here. And uh, on the 4th, on December 4th, I have a birthday. And uh, I'm off that day. And guess what I'll be doing on my birthday day? I'm recording some videos, man. I'm kind of... I'm kind of backlogged in the can because we've just been, it's holiday season, you know what I mean with this. Um, between family and work, it is what it is. No matter what camera you're on, light, quality of light is everything. No matter how good or bad your camera is, proper light looks so much better. And now for a very poor display of the slow-mo feature. I should never ever do slow-mo again on myself. <laughs> hey, this is also the rear-facing camera you're looking at right now. It's the only way I could see myself. I do love that cool flare, man. Uh, so look, have a fantastic day. I do have a lot more coming for you guys. However, I appreciate you all who have joined the Facebook group, uh, Focus with GK. Link is below. Uh, join us over there. I'm still waiting for you guys to post some images so we can talk about uh, do's and don'ts. Maybe you need some, some assistance or you just want to show off some really cool shot you got with one of your awesome, awesome cameras. I'm game. I encourage creativity. And I also encourage you to stay focused on your dreams. And by doing that, one inch forward every day is still moving towards your goals. If you accept the one inch, you'll be amazed when you walk a mile. You know what I mean? All right, you guys. See you in the next video. GK out. Peace.